I'm going to do a quick explanation of Codex and why I think it's going to just change so many things um, already. It's already changing so many things for me. And I think it's going to completely disrupt the tech industry, obviously, but also a lot of other industries. Um, and so I just wanted to explain uh, what I've been finding with it, using it for about 24 hours now as somebody who has been coding every day for 15 years, pretty much, um, and why I'm so excited about this. So. Pretty much OpenAI released this thing called Codex. Um, this is what it looks like. This is the interface of it. And it's very simple in terms of how to use it. You describe a task, you choose the repo, the, 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 the workspace that you're working on, and the branch. So the big difference is that this is all hooked up into GitHub. So you, there's very little work that you need to do either than just kind of prompting it and describing the tasks and organizing. Uh, and so you would just do something like refactor this file or add this feature, right? And we'll go ahead and do that. And you can already see how many different things I've already done with it. Merged, open, PRs, uh, basically features that have been implemented. And it takes anywhere from a uh, few minutes to five minutes, 10 minutes, longer, up to 30 minutes, I think they said. But if you set up your code base correctly, nothing should take you more than five minutes, unless, again, you obviously have massive uh, code bases, which is where is a different spectrum of, I think, what where the opportunity is. Because the more code there is, the more issues there could be, the more questions. So this is exceptionally good if you have these kind of like uh, mini SaaS apps, or if you're building an architecture which allows you to uh, separately build uh, different components because it can just go ahead and complete them start to finish. Now, the big difference here as well, as opposed to maybe Windsurf, which I also use all the time and I highly recommend, is that this does everything in the background so you're not actually manually doing it until it ends. And you can spin up, this is important, pretty much unlimited agents, unlimited versions of this, which is, that's the biggest thing here. You can run, I did a small calculation. If it takes five minutes uh, to do a task and it's around eight tasks parallel, that's the limit that you have right now. That's around 70,000 product iterations a month. That is crazy. Now you might be saying, oh, okay, I don't know how to go ahead and uh, describe so many tasks. I don't know, you know, a human can't do that, but that's fine because this is where, and this is also important, the codex CLI comes in. So codex is more of their kind of the, the more one, this is like more hands-on, hands-on. People say like, uh, uh, what's it called? Like uh, grab and go or forget, like uh, uh, write and forget or whatever. You just, you know, you write some tasks, it'll go work in the background and then you check it. So there's a lot of time that's open here. Um, but the problem is, right, there are limitations here. It only accepts text. It doesn't have a big, uh, such a big input. Um, you can you can add a lot of text in there, but it's not like a massive uh, prompt. Um, and so this is where the codex CLI comes in as well. And there's no like integrations directly into this codex. But the codex CLI is basically just a library that you can, sorry for the misspelling, install on your backend server and that can provide as a connection between these two. And that's what's super important because if you have the codex and what the codex CLI basically does and it's very easy to use, you can actually use codex to install the codex CLI. That's something that I did. And so this is basically provides now a connection between these two. And that's when it gets really powerful because codex, like that's right, that's like the brain. That's like your super senior software engineer that can do a lot of stuff. Um, but the question is how can you maybe more effectively send data to it or information to it to, to give you even more of a huge productivity boost, which is why I'm saying that a single person will just be able to completely outperform any big organization because the amount of stuff that they'll be able to do is going to be a lot more until there's orchestration and until companies figure out how to do this. There's still some time. So for the Codex CLI, you can do things like hook up webhooks to it. So you can basically say every time there is a bug, on, I don't know, Sentry or Firebase or whatever, create a PR to send to the Codex CLI as a webhook, and that will go ahead and send it to Codex, which will basically just open a new thing right here that you can view. And so that's one example, right? But you could also go like Slack to Codex CLI to this, right? Through the backend, through a webhook. There's, sorry, so this is gonna be on your backend, uh, backend server. And then, I mean, you could pretty much send it a, a lot of different commands and processes to tell it to fix this thing on this branch uh, with this info. There's Slack. Um, you could go like drawing a feature and then, right, you could do drawing a feature, uh, image to prompt, and then that could send that prompt 
to the backend server, to the codex CLI to go ahead and do that. So basically there are infinite ways you can send tasks to go ahead and do this and it will go ahead and do it in the cloud. And so it's really just completely dismantling the whole stack of, of, of building products where you needed uh, like multiple people to go ahead and do things, right? You had product, uh, designer, uh, QA, backend, front end. You don't need these anymore. You could just be one person um, doing all of these and you'll be able to do it a lot faster. Actually, the more people you have in any decision at any certain point will slow down this process. Just think about two people having to say, is this PR good or is this PR bad or what do you need to do versus a solo dev that can just go quickly implement, quickly approve. Yeah, so that's why I pretty much think we're entering a new era. This is gonna be bigger than ChatGPT for building stuff. Um, and that's why you should learn to be technical, learn how to use GitHub, learn how to build things, learn how to solve problems. You will literally be able to build a bigger, massive, more valuable, product company than the biggest companies in the world right now because of this. So hopefully that was helpful. I'll make a longer video after, but before I go, I just wanted to send that.